Hello, and welcome to another great episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today, I'm with a couple of great helpers, my nieces. Say hi, everybody. Hi. And who are you? I am Audrey, again. And you? I'm Brooklyn. All right. Now, we're going to make a fun recipe today that they help pick out. It's tomato bisque. Are you girls ready to help me out? Woo! Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and find out what ingredients that we're gonna need to make this dish. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a knife, a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a stock pot, a long handled spoon to mix the soup with, a stick blender or a regular blender. If you're going to use a regular blender, be very careful because the soup is going to be hot. Be sure you do it in small batches and be very careful when you turn the blender on to avoid any kind of soup splashing up and out of the blender. You will also need a plate with paper towels on it. What ingredients are we going to need to make this dish? We're going to need one half stick of earth balance or four tablespoons one tablespoon of vegan bacon that's been sliced. That is red onion, roughly chopped. Celery. How many? One stuff. That is one carrot chopped. All right. Five tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour. One quart of vegetables. One, 120. Eight ounce can of peeled potatoes, roughly chopped with the with water. Tomatoes. This is three sprigs of parsley, one Basil. one bay leaf, and one teaspoon of thyme. Or what you should do actually is use three sprigs of thyme as well. But unfortunately, the grocery store didn't have it, so I used dried thyme as a substitute for the cashew cream. What you'll need is one half cup of cashew, one cup of water, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and one quarter teaspoon of white preferred or black pepper. And then you'll also need salt and black pepper to taste. This is approximately how much? One and three fourths teaspoon. Of each? Of one and three quarters teaspoon of salt. And, and one teaspoon of black pepper. All right, great. Now that we know what ingredients that we're gonna need, now let's go ahead and cook. So I'll see you over at the stove. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mix the cashews and the water together. And we're gonna let this soak for 20 minutes. So we're gonna set this aside. And while that's soaking, we'll go ahead and start our tomato bisque. All right, we're back at the stove, so we're gonna go ahead and cook. So go ahead and turn that sock pot up on medium high for me. All right, now go ahead. What we'll do is we'll add the earth balance and wait for the earth balance to melt. Once that's melted, we're gonna go ahead and add in that vegan bacon and we're going to cook it for a few minutes. All right, go ahead and add in our bacon. Now go ahead and mix that in there and we're going to cook it for a few minutes until it becomes crispy. Okay, so now we're taking out the crispy bits. They're definitely Okay, now go ahead and reduce the heat down to medium. Okay, now go ahead and add the onion, carrots, and celery. Onions. And celery. Now add in the uh, black pepper. What? Black pepper. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to go ahead and cook these for a few minutes. Can I stir it up? Yep, stir it up. And then we're going to wait till the onions are start to turn translucent, and then we'll add in our garlic. Go ahead and give it another good stir. All right. And go ahead and add in our garlic. Garlic going in. And then we're going to cook the garlic for a few more minutes. So you can start smelling everything really good and the onions turn translucent. And then we'll go ahead and add in our flour. Smell of vegetable yummy goodness. Mm -hmm. It fulfills your life. Really? Really. All right. Stir it. Who's that? Big. Go ahead and grab the flour okay. and then go ahead and slowly add in the flour. what's called a roux. Okay, so the butter and the flour is going to mix together and make a paste. And then we're going to let this cook for five minutes. And what that does is that takes the starchiness flavor out of the flour. And this is what's going to help make our soup thick. So now what we'll do is we're going to slowly, slowly add in the vegetable stock into the pot. Nope. Vegetable stock. Stop, stop, stop. Very slowly add it in there. We don't want any lumps in our roux. That's okay. Just there you go. I'm gonna bring the heat back up to high. Do it then. <laughs> you... Oh no, I'll do it. I'll do it then. And then we're going to bring it up to a boil. And then when it brings it up to a boil, we'll bring it back down to a simmer. And then we'll cover it and let it cook for about 30 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in our parsley, thyme, and bay leaf. Okay, so this has come up to a boil. So what I'm going to do is reduce the heat down to low, let it simmer. And then we're going to put a lid on this. Which I have in handy. And now that we have this cooking, we're going to go ahead and get our cashew cream ready. We're going to let this sit for about 30 minutes. So now we're going to go ahead and make our cashew cream. And what we'll need to do is put in the half cup of soaked, soaked cashews into the blender. The, the quarter teaspoon salt, a quarter teaspoon of white or black pepper, and now the one cup of water. Perfect. Now go ahead and put the top on. And while holding the top on, go ahead and put the blender at the highest speed. Okay, so our cashew cream is done. It's nice and creamy. Yay. So now what we'll do is we'll set that aside and wait for our um, bisque to cook. And we'll use that for our, uh, for our creamy uh, tomato bisque. Mm -hmm. So I will see you when our, we are ready to add the next ingredients into our bisque. All right, it's been 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and add in the tomatoes very carefully. 
Because they can plop in and smash Yeah, and it's it. very hot. Plop. Plop. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go ahead and add in the cashew cream that we made in the blender. Be mm. Great. Now go ahead and mix that in there. Now we're going to let this cook for an additional 10 minutes, and I'll see you in 10 minutes. All right, our soup is done. So what we're going to do is carefully scoop out the parsley stems, and if we can find it, the bay leaf. Take that out, and then, all right, so now what we're going to do, we're, we're going to do is we're going to take our stick blender, and we're going to cream it. And be very careful so that stick the blender in all the way into the bottom of the soup. So you teach, touch the bottom and then turn it on. And then you'll kind of go up and down. But not out of the soup. But not out of the soup and move it around. Put it on, do it on high. The two lines. And this is what the tomato bisque soup is going to look like. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. You'll be able to find this recipe on thefatveganchef.com as well as other fun recipes. Please follow us on all social media websites. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef. If you feel like this recipe was informative, please donate. You can find information at tfbc.org forward slash donate. Thank you very much. Have a good day.